This video is sponsored by VIPSADKey.com. VIPSADKey.com is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIPSADKey.com offers a legit Windows 10 key for only $22 and Windows 11 key for $32. This is the same keys I use on my PC builds. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 25% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $16 for Windows 10 key and $23 for Windows 11 key. You now have your legit Windows 10 or 11 key license all set but in a more affordable price. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal or Maya. Visit VIPSDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So thank you VIPSDKey.com for sponsoring this video. Alright, so what's up guys? Action here. So welcome back to another unboxing guys no vlog and today guys we're going to unbox the z790 btf wi-fi not off gaming btf so this is the back to the future features yung hidden uh, connector na design ng no, wallboard lahat ng connector nasa likod po and also nakita nyo meron dito yung gpu dito kasi ang kinaganda sa asus is included yung gpu nila na walang kable so mamaya i-unbox din natin yan pakita ko na sa inyo but we will focus on the motherboard guys first thing po kasi makikita to pero nakita ko na siya on computex okay pero white yung pinadala nila sa akin yung case isa separate unboxing ko na lang kasi uh, medyo malak siya so quick unboxing lang ayan stickers manual uh, mga documentation uh, we have two SATA cable uh, I think this is mga pad CD meron pang CD and yun nga mga uh, documentation okay dyan mo yan so check natin yung motherboard yes that's basically it guys yung laman and some screw uh, for the M.2 um, saan ka agad natin Oh, nice at silver. Mas okay yung dating nung ano, color white talaga. Yung black kasi nito na nakita ko na. So, yeah guys, ito yung back connect. Or yung hidden connector. Oh, nice. Ah, so this is the PCIe. So, dito nakakabit yung sa power supply. So, so, it can supply up to 600 watt itong slot na to. Yan yung slot na for the GPU. Okay. So, uy, ang galing. PCIe quick release. Nice. It's color white. Silver yung mga ano. Maganda dito is pati yung, yung cover. Di ba nga wala ng connector dito. Tapos nilagyan nila lang shroud or yung takip or cover dito. In-extend nila here para hindi makita yung mga MOSFET, capacitor, yung sa gilid. Sobrang ganda. Ang ganda tingnan. As in. For the uh, hidden connector or yung sa back connector niya uh, dito sa may likod, unahin muna dito sa may taas. EPS power connector dito sa may taas, dalawa po yan. That's power 1 and power 2. Tama ba? Ay, then, power 1 and power 2. Next to that is the CPU option 1, tapos AIO pump and additional at chassis fan. Asan na yung CPU? But option fan ka agad to? Oh no! Bakit nila naglagay dito? Nandito yung CPU fan, guys. Sa Asus motherboard, unahin nyo ito ha. Baka makalimutan nyo ito kasi nag error siya. So, always dito. Pagka sa CPU, ayaw ko lang kung anong reason ni Asus bakit dito siya nilagay. Hindi ko napansin ito nung na, na first na nakita ko siya sa Computex kasi nasa bandang taas to. Ayaw ko lang kung puti yung kable, makikita to. Yan, malalaman natin. Kasi ang gagamitin natin na AIO, this is the ROG Ryujin 3. Ngayon, pag puti yung kable na to, makikita to. So, yun lang yung ano, pagpangay, pagkulay white. So, next naman, we have the ARGB header and a 4 pin, ay that, 3 pin and 4 pin pala. Yes, that's 5 volts and 12 volts. Tama, 12 volts for the uh, 4 pin. Uh, 24 pin uh, for the motherboard, we have the USB 3.0 or Type-C pala. 3.0 uh, USB sa front panel po yan yung dalawa. Kung nakikita nyo dito guys, Ang daming connector, di ba? So, this is for the 12V high power. Uh, sa GPU na po ito. Kasi nga, di ba, nilipat nila or tinanggal nila yung hindi na sila magko-connect doon sa GPU ng kable. So, ito na yung magpa-power nun. 600 watt yung kayang i-produce ng power na yan. Pero nilipat nila yung connector dito. Okay? So, mamimili na lang kayo. So, Christian, what if yung power supply ko, uh, ATX na siya and 3.0. So, ito. Dito nyo na ikakabit. Power supply magdasa na. 12V high power. Dito nyo ikakabit. 6 plus 2, 18 times 3. 
yung power supply na gagamitin natin uh, for the build. So, this is the Asus Prime 850 watt. So, ATX 3.0 na po siya. I think it has a, a 12 V high power. Sa bottom, uh, we have the front panel connector. Nandito na sa, ano, sa gilid, sa side na to. Diba? Usually, itong audio is nandito. Pag uh, back connector is nandito siya. So, next is SATA port. Uh, right here. Apat po yan. Additional chassis fan. Two. Meron dalawa dito. USB 1 and 2. Yung sa legacy. Then, additional yung sa RGB. Na addressable. That's 3 pin, 5 volts. Parehas pala. That's 3 pin, 5 volts. So, Thunderbolt USB 4 header. Right here. Tapos merong additional uh, chassis fan 4. Then, ito is for the front panel audio. So, that's for the connector dito sa likod. Nagulat ako dun sa ano. Hindi <laughs> ko napansin talaga. Oh, which is a CPU fan. Ah, uh, ito. Yan yung unahin nyo kasi pa magkakabit kayo ng CPU fan. Baka lang, kasi mag -e error yan. Sa Asus board, uh, experience ko, so, I mean, building an Asus motherboard is kailangan nyo unahin to. Kasi mag -e error nga siya. Okay, so, ito yung GPU, guys. So, this is the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super. So, this is white. So, may connector niya. Diba? Ito yung sa ano, PCIe slot. Ito yung kakabit yun. Now, uh, para ma-power itong GPU, diba, usually dito kayo nakakabit yun. Yung 12V high power or yung 6 plus 2 or 3 pin, 2 pin, ganun. Now, nilipat nila kasi nga hidden connector. Okay, wala na yung kable. Nilipat nila dito. So, pag ikakabit nyo, tatapat nyo lang. Yun. Tama ba? Oh, oh. Yun. Ganyan siya, guys. Okay. Pag kinabit nyo yun, kabit nyo yung tatlong or yung 12V high power dito sa may likod uh, for the sa GPU, yung power. Yung kanina in-explain ko. Okay. Now, paano matanggal yun? Ito. Unlock. Oh, bilis. <laughs> nice. Ang galing talaga. PCI quick release latch na yun. Very nice. Yun yun uh, for the GPU. I think isa lang to. Yung nilabas nilang sa market. I don't know. So, nang maglabas nilang sa marami. Kasi, guys, as, ano, as a PC builder, mas gusto ko yung nasa likod na para mas madali siya i-build. So, this model bird, guys, this is a C790 chipset. So, support ito ng 12, 13, and 14 generation na Intel Core na CPU. Pakita ko lang yung mabilisan itong ano, uh, dito sa may likod. I.O. So, for the output uh, display, we have a DP and HDMI, USB, uh, this 5G, I think it's a 3.2 Gen 1, dalawa, ay tatlo pala, 1, 2, tama, apat, uh, that's 20, this is a tw uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2, that's 20, itong USB Type-C, meron dalawa, ade, isa lang pala na 20, ito naman is 10 gigabits, so USB Type-A, 10 gigabits USB, Type-A, dalawa. 2.5G na Ethernet. Ito yung sa Wi-Fi antenna. And a high definition uh, port right here. Kasi yung antenna nito? Paano hindi ko nakita yung antenna? Baka nandun sa box sa labas yung antenna. Uh, Anin ko na lang. Wala dito eh. Pero mayroong antenna to kasi it supports sa Wi-Fi 7. Baka hindi lang na, ano, na misplaced or I don't know kung hindi ko naisama. Pero wala dito sa box eh. Dapat nandito yun. Wala ko wala nga siya. Na ano siguro. Nahiwalay lang. Pero nandyan lang yun. <laughs> nandyan lang isa tabi-tabi. <laughs> Uh, for the storage and memory, so pinada ako kasi ako ng T4 sa to. So this is the Tough Gaming Alliance na Delta DDR5. Oh, DDR5 ba to? Yeah, it's at the DDR5. Kala ko. It's a 6400 MHz. That's an Intel XMP certified. So yeah, perfect. Uh, it's a Intel build tayo. We're, we're gonna use a... So this is the 14700K na Intel. 14 gen. For the storage naman, we have the T4 Scardia A440 1TB. So stay tuned guys, ito yung gagamitin ko. Sayang hindi white yung ano, uh, RAM. Yung case is pinadala is color black. So, black and white yung magiging build natin dito. Gusto ko yung implementation ni Asus dun sa uh, back connect nila or yung hidden connector uh, design uh, compared to MSI. Dahil lang sa GPU, kay MSI kasi ang nilagay nila is na motherboard lang yung connector. 
hindi nila in-include yun sa jeep. Mas magaling yung implementation ni Asus dito. Mas malinis tingnan to. Alam, ayaw mo talaga ng kable. Ito talaga yung literal na cable free. Maliban na lang dito sa kable nito uh, or tubing ng AIO. Yun na lang yung makikita nyo pag nakita nyo itong build na to. And yeah, yung case, hiwalay na lang a uh, separate video uh, for the unboxing for that. Kasi hindi ko na isama dito. Anyway guys, there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for the PC build nito. This is a C790 BTF Wi-Fi. Ako wala sa action, so like the video, subscribe. I'll see you on my next unboxing video. Bye guys.